Hello friends of CGI, computer graphic imaging, welcome and have fun. This is what we're gonna do today. Particles with trails. Okay, we start with a particle system. And what I just recently in started to enjoy was just creating some stupid, trivial piece of geometry go into FX and particles and fill that object with particles. It's really straightforward. The standard resolution is 5, I guess. We want only very few particles, so I uh, change this to 1 and apply and close and now we can delete the cube. So we have particles, I think, 5. The attribute editor tells us a little bit more about this if we open count here. Yes, it's five particles and they currently fall down because they have gravity. But uh, we can uh, deactivate that by going to dynamic properties and ignore the solver gravity. That's all we're doing here. Now we want to see them a little better so we go to shading and under shading we change points to spheres. So the spheres are a little bit large. Let's close shading again, go to particle size, and reduce radius to, say, 0 0.4. So these dots are our particles now. We want to give them a turbulence field. It's under field solvers turbulence. We can leave it at the default settings, and then they move around just a little bit. And since we want to see how this whole scenario develops, uh, we extend the frame range to, say, 1000. It doesn't hurt. So um, this is basically the setting for five particles. We can have a hundred as well, or a thousand or a million, or just two. This tutorial works with all these systems. So uh, this is very simple, as I said. Now, I don't want to select anything everything is deselected when I just click here in the blank space of the outliner for example or in the blank space of the modeling view and uh, maybe you can select the particles but this is the way I do it uh, we go to mesh we can also go here to mesh I usually use this and now without having selected anything I just create a mesh waiter it waits for an input here it's called waiter it currently deals with 10 instances of a non-existent object so it's just sitting there and waiting for something and now we feed something into it namely the particles so with the mesh selected here we additionally select the particle system here so we have two objects selected and now we go to mesh and under utilities you find the add trails to particles option add trails to particles. Let's deactivate the grid so we see things a little bit better and hide the turbulence field and the nucleus so we see only our particles. Well, let's run the turbulence simulation and get a little bit closer to the scene and you see the first trail developing here. It depends on speed. Here are the other trails developing you see here they are now this is the simulation we have so you can evaluate the trails only if you let the simulation run now how can we modify the trails that's very simple we go to particle and here we have the trails they're called mash trails here and currently the trails mode is set to trails. Fine, that's good. Maximum number of trails 100, that doesn't matter for us because we only have five particles here. The trail length, let's run the simulation just a second to see how long the trails are. Uh, the trail length um, makes them basically thinner, like this. But when the animation runs, um, they really look longer.
You can make them thinner, the trail scale for example. If you set this to 0 0.2. Oh, we have construction going on in my big backyard here. So they are so thin you barely see them. That's a little bit too thin, so let's go to 0 0.9. Which seems to be a good value. Now we have them sitting here and floating around. Now I want to advise you to play with this pull-down menu. These are the standard trails. That's how the whole system starts to work in the default settings. But you can join the dots, connect to nearest. So the nearest are connected now and this changes when the simulation goes on because uh, not not everyone see it it swaps because they're not the nearest anymore so they disconnect and here you have connect to distance and you can put in the search radius here for example if you make that very short see then it goes away we can deal with a very so short uh, range and for example now they're in close distance but when they get further away from each other, through the turbulence field, the connections get lost. Maybe they reconnect if they get closer by coincidence, but not with this small search radius. We can, can increase this. And now here they're reconnecting. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. And have fun with the trails.